What's up, YouTube Loop Troop? Luby Fist back again with another deck for this time for Pokemon Pocket. Uh, I have been testing out a lot of different decks with different ideas and different deck formulas and whatnot. Um, I still haven't really experimented a lot with EX decks for one reason why is because I flip and hate them. Um, I feel like they're super overpowered in the game right now, but either way, you can still win some games without having to use EX decks. In this case, we have to praise Lord Helix. That's right. This, we have to praise them and protect them in this case. Uh, the deck is called Protect Lord Helix. And you guys know, we gotta, we gotta rock with the Omastar in here. And that's the main point of this deck is to just tire out your opponents. Um, and then you can use Omastar and swap them back in with a few different things. So we have Cloyster here. Um, we have Cloyster, Greninja, and Omastar. Those are the, the three main aspects of the deck. We have two Greninja. But Cloyster is the first thing you kind of want in this deck. It has shell armor. It does do 70 damage with Surf, but it takes minus 10 damage from attacks, which can come in handy, especially because it's a stage two Pokemon with 120 health. So this thing is a, is a wall and a, you don't even have to put points on it, to be honest, just you want to stall as, as long as you can. So you can build up your two, two Greninja and then you can throw in Omastar. Um, we do have Misty in the deck, so we can try to ramp up when you can as a big major aspect of water decks. You have to try to ramp up like that. That's kind of the only thing. They do a lot of damage early on, but you have to be able to ramp into the damage, to be honest. Um, Omastar is the champ of the deck. He does deal 70 damage, but this attack has an ability that says during your opponent's next turn, the defending Pokemon can't attack. That's huge. That means that unless they retreat out and put something else in, they're not gonna be able to do anything. Uh, there are plenty of games where I could just sit back and just keep tagging stuff with Greninja um, or go in and attack with Omastar. They swap that Pokemon out. They may be able to kill Omastar, but he does have 140 health. But if they can't, I'm gonna tag him with 40 damage on the back line with, that's right, Greninja. Uh, and that is really key. It's kind of like having two, two um, towers just being able to attack stuff. And then if something gets put into the middle, you just have a shield, right? Cause they can't really get through the cloister very easily. And then after they get through the cloister, they still got to deal with almost star. So it's a really legit deck. Like I said, we do have the two Greninjas in here. If you don't have the two Greninjas, uh, you can you can also just throw in like a uh, tentacruel if you want just for a little bit of poison damage. But I really do like having the two Greninjas because you, having one line of Pokemon that is doubled is really good in this game because you just won't get what you need. Like we have two Almanites, but we only have one Omastar. If I had another Omastar, I'd probably throw him in here as well, just because I would I would love to just drop like maybe Giovanni. Giovanni wasn't that much of a help, but um, but I would love to just drop that <laughs> and just go with another Omastar because the deck does good even without having to have a bunch of items. Uh, obviously, you're gonna want the Pokeball. I opted for one opted for one Pokeball because they don't pull Helix fossils. I think that's a really downgrade to the fossil Pokemon because you can't get a a base. They don't have a base. They just have they just have those fossils. I wish they would change these fossils to being base so the Pokeballs would work with them. But the Pokeball can only pull out my um, my Froakie and my Shelter. Those are the only things that it can pull out. So I thought to myself, you know what? I have a one in three chance of getting either, well, I have a two two and three chance of getting a Froakie and I have a one and three of getting a Shelter. And then if I find that Pokeball, then I have a have a 50 50 chance of pulling the other one if i don't already have it in my hand if i do then it's 100 percent. and that's the only thing you really want to have shelter up early um you want to be able to put your focus and have to put any points on them they can do their ability without having to have any points and you can just hoard all your points for cloister and ammonite and if you do get to a point later where you have enough points you can start putting stuff on froki just so you can deal 80 damage with that water shuriken into its um into greninja's mist slash but really great deck i really had a lot of fun playing with it uh i like playing with stuff that other people don't really touch as much and i haven't really seen anybody playing with almost star uh, maybe one or two other content creators and i haven't run into almost star i don't think at all while i've been playing pokey pocket so i challenge you guys to play with stuff that's not just ex moltres and a charizard or you know double ex articuno and and you know Mewtwo double EX. It's so it's to me that's boring. Play with something that's not not played very often. 
with that being said i really really do appreciate you guys checking out my content for pokemon pocket i know i'm typically on the marvel snap train but i've been trying to branch out doing other things so thanks for all the support and i'll see you guys on the next video peace if you don't if you don't get the lord helix then you, you'll be fine All right, we get it, Cash. Let's see. Well, I got the whole line right now. We never got Cloister or Shelter last turn, did we? No, we did get Shelter. We didn't get Cloister. We did not get Cloister. Well, we have Ammonite. Let's see what we can get here. Pokeball. Oh, we got Helix Fossil, too. That's good. Can I get shelter? There we go. So next turn, we got three evolutions that we can go into unless he red cards me. If he red cards me, then fuck. He doesn't, he doesn't have red cards, no way. No way he has red card. No way, right? I was trying to help you out if you needed to get some gold. Uh, I'll be fine. We, I've been, I've been buying my stuff off of GTA, which is just the Korean stuff though. But that'll be fine. My chop stop. Thanks. Stopped. Uh, we'll use cloister. Put cloister up front. I'm a knight. Frogadier still needs one thing to to re. Ch -ch -ch, saying hey, diddle diddle with your kitty in the middle, and you like you just don't care. We're gonna swap these out. Um. He's only gonna be doing 10 damage to us now, unless he goes into my choke, which he could. I'm gonna end my turn, cause I don't know if he has a, uh, he, he might actually, a supporter can be used. That's great, that's great. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go in, I don't want him to think that I have the things I need, but Greninja's gonna start dealing some damage next turn too. Use the cell codes to GTA. Yeah, I just, I was using them for, um, getting the North Korean, Gift cards. It's the only way I can get it right now. I don't know how much my choke does. Is there a way to find out? I don't think I have enough time. I think I'd rather just do this and hope that he doesn't have enough to kill me. I don't think it does that much. No, this is my chop. I'm talking about the evolved form of this. I don't know how much my choke, my choke does. Okay. He only, this, he just, he just kept this in. Okay. That's fine. Cause I was thinking that he might try to, uh, it's 50 for two energy. Okay. Cause I was thinking that he he probably was hoping I would put my um my frogadier in, and then he can like um kill me. Cause you have to like think about the um the next, like what's he gonna put out next? You know, you get a froki I think. It's the only thing we got left in there. Okay, poke your research. Can I get ammonite? Apparently not. Well, I can use water shuriken. What I want to use it on? I'm gonna chop. No, well, I'm going to put cloister back in because I don't want that in there. Now I'm going to use this and use water shuriken on my chop. Honestly, I think I'm going to use it on Cubone. I want to get his Marowak out. 
I mean, I, I don't want him to get his Marowak out. And I just have this for shell armor for the for the most part, because I don't have Omni Star yet, so. My champ EX does 120 for three. I don't know what baby my champ does. Um I don't know what I don't know what he does. I think he does 120 for three as well. But no. Does he? Does he do a hundred? I know he has seismic toss. I don't know how much it does though. I wish that there was like a tracker or a bot that I could put in my channel. Cause I know there's one for, for Marvel Snap, but no one's made one for this yet. Yeah, he's only dealing two damage. He's probably gonna to he'll either go into what you call it with this or he's gonna make me have to like get out. I don't know. But I'm gonna start putting points on to Ammonite. And use watch. I want to at least put two points on him and hope that he can't hope that hopefully Q bone just can has to die. If we get two points on Omanite, I can start putting stuff on Cloister. It's three, four, a hundred. Okay. Finish updating your trackers. All right, bet. Oh yeah, guys go follow Kronos. I just realized that was you Kronos. I'm sorry, dude. Welcome in, dude. Okay, he's really trying to keep that Cubone alive. Maybe he has, he might already have Marowak. I wonder if he's going to just get Machop out. The Kronos also plays Pokemon Pocket, guys. He's gonna be attacking his cluster for a while. Stay or should I go? I fuck with the clash. Wait, what clash? Huh? What are you talking about? Now here's the trouble with Cloister. With what clash? What? So now he's dealing 40, okay. So Cloister's gonna probably die. But there's nothing I can do about that. I don't have Misty in here. Maybe I should have put Misty's in here. Oh, the band playing a song. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I fuck with them. I mean, I, I like a lot of songs, but I just don't know the actual people who's, who sang them right off the top of my head, but yeah. Okay, we're gonna kill this Cubone. I don't know, I guess his Marowak's still in his deck, but he does have a Cubone over here too. But we just need to go ahead and kill that. He still has to get through this Cloister. So that's fine. And I might put a potion on it. Just because why not? Just just to give him a little bit more life, you know? One of the finals of punk rock in your eyes. Cluster should deal damage to whoever's ta attacking it. It should it should deal less damage and deal it should it should be like a it should be like shell armor, man. That's what needs to be. That's that's the case. I think that would be really cool if it had like shell armor. Okay, so he's gonna kill this now. Okay. I'm gonna continue using water shuriken onto um on Machamp EX, I guess now. So we're gonna just keep on tagging him. <laughs> and uh, this is gonna end up doing uh, 80 damage to him when we get him in there, but that's fine. Um, and just because we might have to use our Greninja too, I'm gonna go ahead and put a point on him. 
I'm not. I'm. I'm. A, I'm gonna make him keep this cloister in here. And if we have to give something up, we'll give away this frog in here. Cause I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to kill his. I'm not gonna be able to kill that anytime soon. So. And right now I'm just into an '80s classic rock uh, mix. Mix. When I used to work at Smoothie King, we used to listen to a lot of um, '80s uh, classic rock. Which is like we listen to the '80s channel. Sometimes we go back to the '70s, but it was mostly the '80s. That's where I got a lot of my love of music from. But if yeah, if you don't think that the Grenin the Greninja water shurikens are like worth it. If you think about it, the um, are we waiting on him to return? Is he not coming back? Interesting. Um, the the thing about um, honestly, Cloister with the Greninja behind it is kind of OP. And then as soon as he like comes in, I'm gonna like, he's gonna he's gonna kill my Cloister now, right? So yeah, he kills it. But now I'm just not gonna let him attack. He's gonna have to swap out. So he's not gonna be able to attack with my champ next turn. Oh, I do have Misty in here. I forgot about that. So we're gonna do a 40 to that. So let's put points on this. I should also use Misty just in case he he wants to come in. If if he's not gonna be able to attack with my champ, but I might I might have to get out with this. So let's go ahead and use Misty because we might need this. Good God, great! All right, so. He won't. Whoa, oh, oh, shoot. Forgot to use my water. Um, shuriken. We'll start tagging this thing for 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 a lot. Every single turn. So and like I said, we don't have any EX Pokemon. So. So he'll die next turn. Cause we're doing 70 plus the Greninjas too. He can't attack. He'll probably put in Marowak. He's gonna have to retreat. He'll put in Marowak, but I should still be able to kill him next turn if I need to. He'll use XP, bring in Machamp. Okay, bring out Machamp. Great. I don't think he's gonna be able to kill me with Marowak. He's gonna have to work really hard for it. If he gets two heads, that's bad. That's, <laughs> that's really bad. So now he has these two EX Pokemon, right? He didn't deal any damage to us that time, so he's gonna get out of here. <laughs> we just, we just, we wore him down, man. Like it was like, what was he gonna do? That's a crazy, that's a crazy tactic right there, man. The cloister was in there for a while. Like, I don't even, how many, how many, how, how long did the, did the cloister even like stay in there, man? Those 17 turns played and cloister was in there for a while, man. That was really good right there. Um, all right. And I never had to put any points on cloister because he was just there just to be a, a nuisance. That's all he was there for. And he did his job, man. He let us he let us get to where we needed to be. By the way, guys, you should check out. He did not chat. Oh, don't, don't. I didn't chat. Wow, that's crazy. Oh, my back is itching. Ugh. I was going to say, uh, guys, you should definitely. Um, you should definitely check out my YouTube and check out my Twitter and TikTok and my everything. Check out. Check it all out. Please, we need it. The secrets that you keep. There was no hand wash? You're a liar. <clears throat> You're a liar. He doesn't know what I do in the bathroom. 
You guys gonna listen to this guy? Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. Tell me that you need me. You tell me that you love me. And I know that you like, I can hear it in the night. Say what? You be talking in your sleep, hey. Okay, go ahead and give me a, a helix. Oh, I got armor star. I can put shoulder in. Oh, my back is itchy. Ten damage on your ass. I'm joking, all the hands were indeed washed. Yes. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> shake my hand. <laughs> Gigi, shake my hand. Oh, powder snow. I mean, I can wake up next turn though, because if he if he if he does put me to sleep, I just wake up next turn. Oh, he can't even do it because he can't attack now. So. You might have a red card. Please don't have a red card. Please don't. Oh, Sabrina. I'll put shoulder in, I guess. Does he have? Well, he can't use Misty right now because that is, Misty doesn't exist. No, I have these. Won't you shake a poor sinner's hand? No. <laughs> shake my hand. Can I can I wash it afterwards and in, in disgust? <laughs> okay. Ooh. Ooh. A, a, a potion. Those are illegal. Those were banned back in 1996. Two years after my birth, damn it. This guy is, I really wish I had, if I get shelter, I mean, I need to get cloister. We really need cloister right now. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, baby. It's exactly what we flipping wanted. It's exactly what we wanted. I just want to know where Greninja got his name. He ain't green and he ain't a ninja. So something ain't right. <laughs> he ain't green and he ain't a ninja. So somebody gonna tell me, so I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of colorblind. I'm not gonna lie, but I don't think that son of a bitch is green. All right, we'll end our turn. I don't think I need that extra Pokeball, by the way, guys. I don't think we need, he might have Sabrina. He might have another Sabrina, too. I don't think he would. I wouldn't use it, but yeah. Oh, got an Enix or a Kuno. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you think he's going to swap in Articuno? I wouldn't do it. Seems like a bad idea to me. That's just me, though. Giovanni. But that means he's gonna deal 40 damage. Is he gonna put me asleep again? Yes! Technically, he never put me to sleep because I rolled and I got out of it. I was on Greninja because we can just put this on Cluster next turn if we wake up. And I'm actually going to start attacking this Articuno instead. Giovanni coming, coming in with no pizza makes me angry. <laughs> Are you going back like a week ago to the Giovanni, the Giovanni joke about the pizza, Giovanni's pizza? 
<laughs> Can you imagine if, if if he was wait, where is that? Where I forgot where that was from. Cause somebody came here and said that there was a there was like a he sounds like a pizza company. Come on now. Giovanni's? <laughs> it was Giovanni's. Oh shit, I, I thought I ended my turn. I forgot. I'm sorry. I'm still sweeping. I'm still, I'm still tired. Uh oh. Can I have like, what I really want right now is an ammonite. But I also need to get that. I got two of those stones in my deck, man. We got seven cards. We got a two and two and five chance, no, two and seven chance of getting the things we deserve. Yes, I'm up. <laughs> I've awoken. I've awakened. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and tag that. Let's go ahead and put this up here. Get this thing out of here. Yeah, we know it can be used. You ain't put nobody else to sleep, bitch. The Italian place to be is their catchphrase. <laughs> Team Rocket. Blasting your pizza with the hottest fire around. <laughs> they just go around stealing everybody's pizza recipes. Can you imagine? Just blasting everyone's pizza away. He's probably gonna swap in. I'm gonna do this, 20 damage. So he's gonna kill this, but he's gonna have to swap in. Don't I have a Sabrina in this deck? Or maybe I don't. I might not have a Sabrina. I don't think we need an extra Pokeball. We can probably put one in. Oh God, he's got star you. Is he gonna go into star me? What's he gonna do right now? He can't attack, otherwise he'll die. So he's gonna have to swap in and go into this other Articuno. But he has to be careful because if he can't, if he can't kill us after that, it, oh, he got out. He got out. That would have been really tough for him to win, but it was possible. I don't think he could have killed our Greninja though. Cause that Greninja had a lot of health, didn't it? It was dealing a lot of damage. That uh, that Clarsha still comes in clutch, keeping a um really good, a really good defense to start off, right? Um, and then we just start tagging with those shurikens, right? It's like a, it's like a wall, you know. So really good game. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to check out this one right here. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Have a great Spooktober.